Here's the uh, Goldstream Gold Charm. It's a 1996 uh, pop top camper. You can see on the back here that uh, there's a 50 litre stainless steel external water tank which has got a tap on the side and a filling uh, cover on the top. Spare wheel and pole carriers there. The, the very rear one is the one that carries the nine poles for the four annexes. The other two I've put on there to carry the poles for the awning should you want to use that. Uh, the winder goes in here. And comes around, there's some fold down stairs. And the 0.8 cubic metre alley box on the front. There's also uh, boat racks that have been added and the rear boat rack uh, acts as a support for the for the rear bed. Um, the trailer's been was modified before we bought it and um, we've recently, uh, it's a long story but uh, technically it wasn't legal because it uh, in Queensland you don't need to have a trailer uh, a safety certificate if it's under 750 kgs however um, we identified that it was more than 750 kgs with these modifications and so we've had it certified there's a new certification plate there uh, so it's all legal and there's a safety certificate with it it's got a separate handbrake and it's also fitted with electric brake uh, hubs and uh, it's also got a trailer mounted electric brake unit but it's not a proportional braking unit and my understanding now of the law in Queensland is that you're meant to have electric brakes that can be adjusted within the vehicle and so uh, we've been using it for three years just with this uh, trailer mounted one on there um, I guess technically it's not legal if you're in an accident and uh, the insurance company found out um, so it would just be a matter of getting a uh, vehicle fitted um, brake controller to hook up to the wiring that's already there on the front of the, uh, the drawbar there. Um, coming around this side you can see the, there's a front awning and a side awning on this side. The, the gas inside has been removed and that's what that uh, stainless steel cover is there, just covering up where there was previously a vent. It's also been sealed on the inside to keep it dustproof. And the same with the door on this side, it's been sealed on the inside. Normally they have vents down here, uh, but it's been sealed to keep the dust out. So that's pretty much it, but I'll just... Uh, pause the video here there's four clips uh, for winding it up the uh, the zips on all the awnings are all heavy duty and they're in good condition uh, I won't unzip these just now but uh, the awnings are all in good shape There's also, uh, although you can't access them if you carry the other two pole carriers, but just there where there's a little reflector going into the chassis rails, uh, a previous owner has modified those, put a little door on there and you can store fishing rods in there. Here's the winder. So just winding it clockwise, you can see it runs on a, uh, a winch, the cables go around in the corners. And that stainless steel wire that you can see there is, uh, that lets you know when it's fully wound up.
Okay. And then there's uh, some little pins here. That one's a little bit stiff, so I might just have to get the, the hammer. That one comes out nice and easy. Oh, I managed to get it out. And this folds back. And then previously there would have been some support arms that go into the little triangular piece you can see there. That come up under the bed. But with this now, uh, the rear boat rack acts as a support for the, for the bed, which just slides out. And you can see whether you've got it all the way out, coming around to the inside. I've just put the the awning um, for the annex in here. We haven't actually used the awning, the bagged awning, um, but I've put it in here just to store it. Uh, there's the old chest cold fridge that sits in uh, where the original fridge would have been, and. Um, the cupboards that go over the wheel arches this side just climb in so this has got to go out a little bit further and then that plywood there sits up and bolts in and you put this cushion up to have a bench seat and there's cupboards and storage along the front here as well as well as underneath uh, the squab just here. I'll just pause it for a moment. So once once you've uh, got the the bed fully out, I'll just put this up. So I'm trying to do it one-handed by holding the phone and filming. And that goes up there. All of the uh, the screens here, uh, the zips uh, allow you to open it up to get the air in. The screens are all in good nick. The door is attached up there, and here you just undo those clips. Uh, it's a little bit of a technique for fitting the door. So you put the, the door closed like that. You undo, drop the doors, and then there's two little holes on either side that the door on either side of there goes into, and then you uh, attach these eyelets onto the side there to hold it firm, and there's some little um, uh, sort of buttons behind here that you push down to get it all taut, and then there's a little latch here that you put it on so that when the door opens out it uh, stays together um, so the other thing once you've got the bed out there's underneath the bed this is pretty standard in from what I've seen of Goldstream and Jayco campus and probably a number of others you just push that out like that I might not be able to do this one-handed because the uh, the canvas isn't down over the rest of the bed, but that just latches in up the top here into a little bracket, and that, that's pretty easy. Usually, um, you can do it by yourself. I've travelled by myself, um, but if there's two of us, um, then Julie will be in here. Uh, putting this up and I'll just be adjusting outside to uh, make sure it's all in order out there So that's pretty much it. I think um, I won't put that up because we're getting rain squalls here at the moment and uh, we'll Try and keep it dry 
But um, yeah, just thought given that uh, you won't get a chance to talk to me, this might give you a few questions to ask tomorrow. Cheers.